Are you trying to figure out how to record your Figma prototypes? Then you're on the right video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can record your Figma prototypes on a Mac or a Windows. It doesn't matter. I'll show you two methods. The first one is going to be a common method, which works both on Windows and a Mac because it's not an OS dependent thing. It works on your Chrome browser. Uh, it's an extension. And the second method is going to be native. You can use your native options as well to record it, which is much easier. So quickly jumping onto the screen, I'll be showing you on a demo. So here we have a Figma demo. This was done on a previous video video that I made. So first thing you gotta do is just play this and check if your prototype works well. So here I have the prototype and this is a very simple scroll animation video. So I want to record this. So the first thing we gotta do is get back to Chrome and on Chrome, you can go to your Chrome web store. Uh, this is the link chromewebstore.google.com and here you can search for screen record. And once you do that, you'll find there are tons of plugins, right? Uh, not plugins. These are called extensions. So you have a lot of extensions and these will keep loading more and more, right? So you can try all of these most of them work uh, but you don't have to take that effort because I've already tested one extension and it works really well right so to directly get to that just search for get screeny and once you search for that you have the second one that is highlighted here and once you click on this you have an option to install it since I've already installed it I see a remove button but you will see an install button just click on it and it will get instantly installed and you will find it on the top bar right here right so once you have installed it you will find it on this list you can use the spin button and with that it will start showing up here and this is the one I'm talking about so once you click on that you have these different options uh, the first one here is to take a screenshot so you can take a whole screenshot so if you have like a long web page you can use this it's really good and the second option here is to record a video right so you can record your screen and there are different options here as well so you can do a webcam recording you can do a desktop recording or you could do both right so if you are trying to make a tutorial you want your face to show up as well on the webcam you can use this option but uh, in this video we'll focus on the desktop mode so just click on this and now it will show you all the windows that you have opened up on your uh, system right now so you can do your entire screen recording or you could just do a window specific as well so once I jump to window you can see that I have the windows that I've opened up and the demo that we're talking about is the scroll demo so just click on that and say share and now you will end up on this screen which is your figma screen and now you can start recording it right so your recording is already begun and that is what you see here right so once you want to stop it you can click on the stop recording but until then it keeps recording in case you have this uh, pop-up in between you can just hide it using command dot or control dot and that will basically hide those uh, UI elements on the top and now we can seamlessly start recording it right so now I'm gonna just start recording it so there you go I've done the triggers and the animation is done now I want to stop recording it so I'll just click on the stop record button and here we have the complete recording right so you can see that the complete thing got recorded uh, now we want to trim it out you want just the part where the screen is there right so for that what we'll do is first we'll try to just uh, download this and for that you basically have to let this load completely and then you'll have this download option enabled so I'll click on the download option it's still loading and there you go you have this download option you can either use this button here or you can just use this option to download it and now we have downloaded it right but if you see this is in a webm format don't worry about that the next thing we're going to do is just go to a new website which is onlinevideocutter.com so this is a free website where you can go and upload even huge files right so just go here and drop in the video that you just recorded and once you drop in it just gets uploaded so it's getting uploaded and there you go you have it there so the first thing you got to do is just bring this starting blue bar here exactly to the place where you want the video to start you can just trim out all the unwanted stuff so this is where I basically started interacting with the prototype so I'll leave it here and the end part you don't want the extra part to be there as well right so just trimming it exactly to the place that I just want in the video so this is the part I want and that gives you the part where you want the recording to be and now I'm going to trim out this extra black that you see here right I just want the screen I don't want this extra content because probably I want to showcase it to your client or I want to put it on my portfolio website right so this is the second tool you have to use which is a crop tool and then just crop it exactly to the dimensions that you want so if you want a black border you can leave it there or you can trim that as well I feel the black border looks good so I'm just gonna leave that and this is what I want and with that I'm just gonna hit on save and that will start encoding it and it will start exporting the video within a couple of seconds you already have it I just click on save and let's take a look at the video right so here we have the video I'm just gonna play it and there you go we have the video and that too in an mp4 format 
and you can see that the clarity is also really good so the recording clarity is also pretty neat so that is the first method uh, as i told you this is a method which works both on a mac windows or anywhere that you can install a chrome browser right so this works very well and the second method is going to be os dependent so let's start with mac on a mac what you got to do is just open quicktime player and from here i'm going to select new screen recording and that's going to open up some functions like this on the bottom you can see these different options which allows you to do different actions right so the uh, option here is to select a portion or you can do an entire screen recording so here you don't have to go for uh, screen cropping or anything you have the options right away so i'm just going to select and resize these crop options to exactly fit this prototype and once you have done that you can start recording it with this option and right now it's recording and i can do my interactions with the prototype and once you're done with that just go on top and you can stop recording with this button right here and here you have the recording so i'm just going to play it and there you go you have it uh the recording of your interaction and if you notice the clarity on this one is much better than the one that you saw on the previous method because these are native recording options and they give you the top notch quality so that is how you do it on a mac and on windows if you are on windows 11 you can use the default option which is start shift and s and this would open up a window for you which would allow you uh, to capture your screen uh, the same way you would have the similar kind of options i don't have a windows right now to show you but i can show you how it generally works with uh, some screenshots that is running at the moment so with this you can basically use this option and start recording your video right away and that will also give you a same mp4 format like this and the clarity on that one also would be much better so i would definitely recommend to go with method 2 if that is possible so if you have a mac or a windows 11 this is the best method to go with or if you don't have that at the moment you can go with the chrome extension which works pretty good as well so that's all for this video and if you found it helpful do leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more such informative videos and as always thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one